process of the FDA. Uh, beyond that, uh, I'm not aware of any proposal for taxing cigarettes coming from here. Go ahead. Thank you, Jen. Uh, White House Chief Staff Ron Klain retweeted a, a message yesterday, not once but twice, uh, that inflation and supply chain issues are high-class issues. But some of the sharpest price increases over the last month included products that every American buys, beef products, chicken, eggs, regular unleaded gasoline, uh, laundry equipment, furniture, clothing, the, the list goes on. Why would Ron Klain tweet that? And would you agree that that's a little bit tone deaf? Do you think two tweets means more? I'm just curious. Um, so just for context, what, the, what Ron Klain retweeted was a tweet from the former chairman of economic advisors, Jason Furman, where he said, for a full context, which I think is important, most of the economic problems we're facing, inflation supply chains, are high class problems. What he went on to say is, we wouldn't have had them if unemployment rate was still 10%. We would instead have had a much worse problem. So I think the point here is, well, there are some critics who are saying, what some of these critics are saying uh, is, I don't, we don't know if they're saying that what they thought was great was when the unemployment rate was double what it is today, or when people were locked in their homes and therefore gas prices were lower. We're at this point because the unemployment rate has come down and been cut in half, because, ga because people are buying more goods, because people are traveling, and because demand is up and because the economy is turning back on. So Jason Furman, of course, is more than capable of speaking or tweeting for himself, obviously, and providing any additional context. But uh, what the point is here is that, uh, is that we are at this point because we've made progress in the economy. And what would be worse, in our view, is if the unemployment rate was at 10 percent, people were out of work, hundreds of thousands of people were still dying of COVID, uh, and people weren't able to lose their homes. So that's the full context. And that's a much more eloquent way of putting it than the, the high class um, comment in, in that tweet. It's, it's not the first time that Ron Klain's Twitter has drawn some sharp criticism. Is that something that the White House is addressing at all, given this pushback, this criticism? Are we addressing the Chief of Staff's Twitter habits? Yes. It is not a top priority, uh, I would tell you, at this point in time. Uh, the Chief of Staff is out there speaking on his own accord to members of Congress, to the media uh, frequently, um, as any Chief of Staff does. And I think it's important also for anyone here uh, to be able to uh, tout uh, points that they find interesting. And that's the purpose of public speech.